this is AFP.net core and we see learn and practice course. Today in this lesson, I will guide you how to pass the data from controller to view. Let's get started. Open Visual Studio and this one is the home controller. Today we will use the home controller to do some demonstration. Before starting to work with the home controller, let me run this website in browser. Go to the debug and click on the start without debugging option. The browser will be open. This one is the default index of the Power Project. Let's go back to the Visual Studio. We have some way to pass the data from controller to view. Show now. In this lesson, I will guide you three ways. The first one will be using the view back. The second one will be using the view data. And the last one will be using the model. Okay. So now, let's get started with the first one. Let me scroll it down. And then I will create a class here. Public. And then I will name it a uh, class student. In the student, I have some property. I think name. Basically, we are going to create a student. And we have some information like the ID, name, and email. We go back to the index. In the index, I will go ahead to create an instance for the student. Lead of student. New student. Email. And then we will copy the data here to duplicate some of the record. And then we have the creating some data for the student. First option. Option one, using view back. And here we have the view back dot student will be equal their student. Okay. And then open the view of the home. Here I will have the view back. I will declare a variable here. Where it will be the student. Will be equal the view back dot student. And however the view back, this is a dynamic object and the data type is not defined. So when we return the data in the view back here, is a student. This data type will be the list of a student. That means in the view, we have to be cast the data from the dynamic object to the list of student. Okay, add list v8 project dot controller dot student. And here in the HTML, I will declare another div. I will have a table. In the table, I will have some the column here. ID. When we get the data from the view back, and we cast it into the list of student. And here we have a list of student. And then we will have a for it to loop all of the student in the student object. And then we will display the list of student in the table. Let me try to run it in the browser. And then we see the result. Save it up first and then open back the browser. Refresh this one, and you see here 
we can see the list of students. We have five students. Let me do some the formatting for this table. By adding an uh, inline class, it will be half table. Refresh this one, and you see the styling, it looks better. This is the default styling for the default layout in our project. Okay, this is the first option. Let me try to do some other comment here. Option one, back to the controller. And I will have the option number two. And before to work on option number two, let me try to comment this code. And back to the website, refresh this one. It will be displaying a narrow message here, the noon reference exception. And because we don't have any data for the viewback with the student show, when the, we run the website and it does not find any data type for the student here, show it will be displayed arrow on the browser. Okay, let me come back to, to the controller and then I will apply the option number two using view data. Okay, and actually for the view data, we already worked on this in the previous lesson. In this video today, we will continue to use this for demonstration. Okay, I will have a view data. I have to provide a name for this view data. It should be the student. And then it will be equal to the student listing. And then we back to the index. In the index, let me comment this line of code. And I will have the option number two. Let me try to copy this line of code because we can reuse something here. In this of uh, using the view back, we can copy the view data student here and replace this one. And then back to the browser, try to refresh this one. So here, after we refresh the browser, you can see the list of students will be back. That means the view data is working fine for now. So when we do comparison between the view back and view data, actually there are not much difference. The view back is the dynamic object and the view data is a dictionary. So it only have a performance difference. Because the view data is dictionary show the performance when running, it would be better than the view back. And depending on the styling for coding or some of the purpose, you can use the view back or view data to pass the data between the controller and index. So now, let's continue with the third option. Let me come back to the home controller. And I will comment this line of code. Of course, when we comment this line of code and we back to the browser and then refresh this one, it will be displayed the error message because we didn't find any data for the view data student in the index. Let me implement the third option. Okay. And when using the, the data model in the return here, in this of return of blank, we can return a student data in a parameter student and returns the student and then open the view in the view let me comment the line of course for option number two first and then we back to the top of the bed in the top we have the add and model model and for the model we will try to have the list of student vs dot controller dot student and then here when we command the line of code for option one and option two here that means we don't have any data for the student model and then you can see the error message in the for it and in this of using the student we can use the model 
let me try to explain more detail here what does it mean for the model. Okay, back to the home controller. In home controller, we return the object is student. We contain the list of a student. And then in the first line of the view, we have the model. This model will be identifying the list of student. We receive the student from the controller. And here in the view, we define the data type for the student. That means for now in the model, we have the uh, data type defined for the student. So in the for, for it here, when we try to look the data in the model, that means we are getting the list of the student in the data model. Okay, save it up and then come back to the browser. Try to refresh this one. And then you can see the list of student has been back. That means for now the third option is working fine. Okay, so now let's have some break and we will continue to work on other lessons. Thank you and bye bye.